Turnitin is now available from any of the content areas within your Blackboard course. In this example, I'm going to first go to Assignments. Once on the Assignment page, I'm going to go up to the Assessment menu and select the Turnitin Assignment option at the bottom. The first time that you use Turnitin, you'll be prompted to review the User Agreement and select I Agree. Here you'll be prompted to create your new assignment. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, as well as give it points. The start date is the date and time that students can start submitting their assignment. It is going to default to the current date and time, but you can make your changes by using any of the menu areas. There is also a due date option as well as a post date, which refers to when the grades and comments are available to the students through the Grademark tool. If you're using the Blackboard integration, you're actually going to be using the Blackboard Grade Center, so the post date is not applicable. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to view some of the additional options. Here you can type in your basic instructions for the student submission. And then you're allowed to choose if the students are allowed to submit past the due date. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to accept late assignments. And by default, you do in fact want to generate the originality report. If you were simply uploading files so that you were populating the repository of student papers, you would say no. But in this case, I do in fact want every paper to be checked. By default, the originality report will be created immediately and will be final. However, you do have the option to have it overwritten until the due date or to wait until the due date and then run the originality reports. Both bibliographic materials and quoted materials are included in the similarity index. However, you can choose to select yes to exclude both bibliographic materials and quoted materials. Scroll down a little bit further you also have the ability to exclude small matches as defined by the instructor. By default, students are not able to see the originality reports. However, you may choose to allow the students to review the originality report, as this can be an excellent opportunity for learning. You can also choose when grades are revealed to students. And by default, there is just a standard paper repository, so you can leave this at the default. The student submission will be checked against the overall student paper repository, as well as current and past web pages, and the periodicals, journals, and publications available through Turnitin. If you do choose to use Grademark for your grading, there is the ability to attach rubrics, similar to the rubric tool that is available within the Blackboard environment. Scroll down a little bit further. And you'll see that there's also a grammar check tool that's available. You can set these options as your default for any future assignments to make it easier. Once you've selected all of your items, please scroll up to the top and click Submit. You'll get a notice that the Turnitin assignment has been created, so I'm going to click OK. And here you'll see that the View slash Complete link is now available to students. As noted, this is a Turnitin assignment, and if I go to my Grade Center, you'll see that there is automatically a column set up for the case study that we just created, and it is worth 10 points.